the shot play that uh, Dable called for you after Norman forced the fumble. Um, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of the Pittsburgh game when you guys took that shot play after Renegade. But maybe just speak about the the aggressiveness that Dave's uh, feels more than comfortable putting you in and how good it felt to kind of hit that thing because Diggs made a play for you too. Yeah, that's that's complimentary football. Um, you know, the defense did a great job of forcing turnover there. And, you know, we're glad to have Jano back on the field. And um, for him just to kind of give us an opportunity to go make a play and, um, you know, I'm shooting myself in the foot. I could have let him a little more, but I gave him a chance and he made one heck of a grab and put us in position to score a touchdown. That's what we did. You know, and what was did sometimes Dave has a few extra words for you when he kind of sends that play into you. Did he have anything special on that call or he said just hit this one or he just called the play and trusted me to read it out. Uh, Sound mayor on in Rochester. Look, uh, first of all, how's the shoulder? It's good. It's good. What what happened on the play? It looked like you got twisted and then hit went on the left shoulder and then you were shaking it out. What was the what, what where was the pain? Yeah, um, I mean I just kind of landed on it a little funky and um you know it's just this the left shoulder. It's it's not the right one, uh, you know. Thank God, but um, we'll be all right. It's it's no big deal. Got to play play through the pain, um, and we'll obviously we'll get some treatment on it probably this week. But it shouldn't inhibit anything. Just about every throw you made today ended up being a really key play. I mean, it just seemed like guys were making great catches for you, and your ball was was on target. Just the importance of the the precision that you guys, you guys have had for the first four weeks? Well, I mean, it's a lot of trust that goes into it. And um, our guys have been busting their tail in practice. And my job is just giving them, give them an opportunity to go make a play. And that's what we've been doing um, on a regular basis. And we got to continue to keep that up and continue to keep working hard and keep getting a good look from our scout team. And, um, you know, as long as our games, you know, if, as long as our practices are, are just as hard as our games, I think we're, we're, we're doing things the right way. And Coach McDermott does a great job of setting up our practices. And, um, again, I, I can't give our guys enough credit about how, how much they want to work when, when we're in practice. And um, you're seeing dividends pay off right now. Josh Reed here in Buffalo. It seems like every week when you look at the the, the stats after the game, you're, lo- you're looking at eight or nine different receivers catching passes. What does that say about the depth and talent that you have to throw the ball to? No, well, I mean, it's, it's kudos to our front office for bringing the guys that we brought in. Um, but it, it takes more than just picking the right guys. It's, it's the guys coming in and working hard and the, uh, you know, the leadership that we have in this, in this facility, you know, organization, uh, top down, you know, it's, it's something special here in Buffalo and, you know, we got to keep, keep continue to, to find new ways to get better. But, um, you know, our guys are just making plays. They just, they want it. And, um, you know, it's just, it speaks volumes about, you know, the, the type of men that we have in this locker room and, um, how much, you know, they're willing to, you know, sacrifice to, to win football games. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. One more for you, the Cole Beasley touchdown when he gets flipped upside down. What uh, what was your vantage point from from the end of that play, kind of watching it develop? Well, I mean, I saw him just kind of wide open. I just tried to throw it in there really hard, and the ball got a little high on me, but he made one heck of a catch there. And um, First time for him this season touching the paint, so it's always good to, to get a guy in the end zone, and um, he's been, you know, crucial for our success success here the last couple of years. And, you know, he's just a guy that you, it's, it's hard to guard him. You know, he's a very smart player. He wants the ball. Um, you know, he's always ready when his number's called too. And, you know, he was dealing, uh, with, with a little injury and, um, he fought through it and it just speaks, you know, volumes again on, um, you know, just the, the team first aspect guys are willing to, to go out there and put on for their team. Hey Josh, John Scott. Um, I was curious, you know, like three point shooters, they say when they're hot, it looks like the, the hoops, the ocean, you know, you're thrown into the ocean. Where is the confidence level for you and the offensive unit through four games? Um, I mean, I, th- I think we're, we're fairly confident in what we got going on here. And again, Coach Dable's calling a great game and we're going out there and executing. And um, again, I just it, it bring it back to my guys here that just continue to work hard and practice and find new ways to get better watching film the right way um, and playing for each other out there. It takes it takes 10 other guys executing on a, every single play to, to have success. And, um, you know, I thought our defense, again, played fantastic, you know, in the second half, especially uh, forcing the first and turnovers and allowing us to get points off turnovers and um you know, I'm still kicking my myself in the in the foot for taking that sack instead of throwing the ball away, and um, you know, that's I think that's one decision that you know I, I wish I had back um, this game. But um, again, our guys are just we're just working hard, and, and you know it's paying off. Wookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports 1080, great win out Oops. there today. Four and zero, man. You feel like a kid in the candy store, man, with all the weapons that you have at any given moment, man. Anybody can shine. So 
how 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 confident is is you in you know knowing that any given moment when you deliver the ball that can guy can make a play? Uh, I mean, it's 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 a great feeling. Um, it's it's awesome the guys that we have here. I, I love our team. Um, you know, and again, it's just the leadership, the type of the guys that we have here. Um, we just, you know, we play as a team. We, we truly play for each other. And it's, it's a great feeling when, you know, guys are pulling for each other on the field um, and things are rolling right now. And we understand throughout the year, we're probably going to hit some adversity um, at one point or another. So we got to continue to stay strong and stay together. But, um, you know, our, our guys just, we, we love each other in Buffalo. And, um, you know, that's not going to change anytime soon. Absolutely. Now, you know, always coming out of that locker room, you guys has been up big. This time you guys were up by four. Um, just going out and matching that intensity and Josh Norman making that big play. Just care to talk about how instrumental the defense was today. No, they were great. Especially, you know, that second half, forcing the turnovers, allowing us to, to move the ball. And um, Again, I, I'm kicking myself, you know, for, for that sack I took instead of throwing it away, making it a three-possession game and um, kind of making everybody at ease. But uh, you, you talk about, you know, a great vet and Jay Nell and um, working through a hamstring deal throughout the first part of camp and, um, you know, the first few games of the season. And he comes in and his immediate impact, you know, he makes a play. We, we score, I think, a touchdown four plays later. And, um, you know, it changed the entire direction of the game. And, um, you know, for our defense to step up like that, it was it was huge. And, um, you know, that's uh, it's not anything I didn't expect. You know, our defense has been fantastic the last couple of years. And um, it's just it was good. It was big. Initially, you went down following that hit. Was there any fear that it might be something more serious? I just it was it was my left shoulder, so uh, it, it didn't bother me too bad. And uh, I knew, uh, you know, if it's the right shoulder, it's a different story. But knock on wood, it was the left shoulder, and um, yeah, I knew it wasn't collarbone right away. So it's just kind of pain tolerance at that point. But you went straight to the locker room, right, to have it examined. Yeah, yeah, uh, straight to the locker room, and again, it was right before you know halftime, and. Um, I just wanted to make sure everything was right, and uh, it, it was. And, uh, you know, just, again, just trying to come back and play for my team.